Why don't American railroad workers get sick time? The rail industry switched to a system called precision scheduling, which means their staffing has to be very precise in terms of which employees with which expertise are on duty at a given time. This saves the rail company a lot of money and may have led to a bunch of rail employees being fired. But it's not clear if other things caused rail employees to be fired, like the pandemic or supply chain issues. However, for the system to work, employees must always show up for their shifts or trains will be delayed. This meant rail companies didn't offer paid sick leave to employees. This led rail employees being forced to show up even when sick. The employees, in a union, voted to strike for paid sick leave and pay increase. However, the rail industry and the American economy would face major problems if employees got sick days now. Because rail companies had switched all their staffing systems and hiring to require most everyone to show up all the time. Thus, Congress voted to not allow the employees to strike, gave them a pay raise, but didn't give them paid sick leave. They have long-term sick leave which is partially paid, but something like the flu means no paid sick leave. The short version is greed. The long version is it's a sensitive system so they don't allow you to not be present. The real question is, why doesn't every American worker get paid sick leave like in every other civilized country? Not sure if anyone has mentioned it, but if an employee has already used up all their PTO and gets sick they will get in trouble for calling out without using PTO. Emo this seems illegal, but apparently it's not. There doesn't need to be an explanation that is nuanced. It's greed, plain and simple, and that's all it is. Sadly. Companies if I could pay everybody less I would. Because America is a plutocracy, not a democracy. They do in California. Sadly, what the railroad workers need is a couple of highly publicized cases of people, non-employees, getting killed because the worker s were too sick to be doing their job properly but were required to show up anyway. I'd be willing to bet that more than a few workers have been seriously injured or killed because of this already. Do they get paid time off? PTO. Days that they can use for sick days. Vacation days and holidays? That's how it is for many healthcare workers in the USA and it works quite well as they continue to accumulate PTO time with every paycheck. By the way, this is called R, too afraid to ask to avoid creeps being aggressive assholes. So basically the union hasn't done anything except take their money? Thought better benefits and better pay were the whole point of unions? Because they entered into a union which negotiated it away for some other benefit. Maybe it made sense at the time. Maybe it doesn't anymore. I've never held a job that gave paid sick time. And I got paid way less than these rail employees too. There are layers. What a company can and cannot do is determined by regulators, who are empowered by local and federal leaders. Such leaders are given their position by elections, or appointed by people who are elected. And so our regulators act in line with elected leaders in general. Elected leaders are elected by public opinion, not qualifications. And since public opinion is largely controlled by external factors, they are incentivized to act in the interest of those who can control those external factors. Corporate leaders have access to immense resources and data to more efficiently use those resources and how to influence these external factors via marketing action and investments. This means that, indirectly, the regulators tend to act in favor of corporate leaders, or at least not actively against 
There are absolutely counter-examples to all of this. But on average, in general, the trend line points to this. After all of this, corporate leaders have argued that some jobs, like rail workers, are so absolutely essential that it would be disastrous to allow any impediment to their work. And sick days, breaks, strikes, etc., are all impediments to their work and therefore not permitted. Weird. My dad worked for Amtrak for 30 years and had sick time and vacation. He cashed out a buttload of both when he retired. America. That's why. Because the people who own the railroads give campaign funding to our politicians. Commonly known as bribes. While the workers don't have spare millions to throw at influencing policy. Also, the owners of the railroads basically held the economy hostage right before a major shopping holiday. The results of which would have made the party in power look bad. And we can't have that. Basically, like everything in modern America, it's all about the money and the optics. The latter of which only matters because it directly influences the money. Because America is a sick country that values money over human life. If the train has to have five humans in five different jobs to run safely. Engineer, brakeman, signal person, etc. The companies could schedule 10 people for every run in case people get sick last minute. Or they could have maybe seven or eight people if a couple were cross train. I'm not sure if the union allows cross-training. It's a tricky situation, but I think over-scheduling and allowing people to call in sick is the only solution. I think the rail companies can afford it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.